Well, hello there, and welcome back to my galley. You know, I went home, Sam and I did, for a while, and the last two, maybe three times we went home, I mean, we went six, home six times in the course of our Great Loop trip, but a few times my little seven-year-old niece, she would say, you need to make another cooking video because, um, our videos really aren't for kids, but the cooking video she really likes. So I said, I promise. And she said, are you sure? Well, this last time I went home, she made me pinky promise that I would make another cooking video. And when you make a pinky promise with a seven-year-old, you do not break it. So, A.B., here is your cooking video. And we're making wings today. I'm going to use my Instant Pot and then I'm going to put them in the oven to broil to make them crispy. So they're real tender by cooking them in the Instant Pot and then they get crispy on the outside by broiling them in the oven. So I got this bag of chicken wings or wingettes. I usually buy a four pound bag of frozen chicken wings at Walmart. But, you know, it was just, there wasn't a Walmart around, so I went to some grocery store. I don't even know, remember the name of it. Uh, but they did have this two and a half pound um, frozen chicken wings. So what I'm going to do first is, I just got my Instant Pot out of the um, storage compartment in our salon area. You know, where we sit. And I gotta take all this stuff out of it because I store it all. Now I leave this trivet in the bottom here. I'm gonna plug it in in the back. Now when you're cooking on a boat, um, you know, humidity is uh, happening. And especially a pressure cooker creates its own steam. So you want to make sure that when it's uh, releasing later, you don't want it under any wood. Um, I know this um, from experience, but uh, haven't done any major damage. So got my instant pot. You see it turned, says off right there. Move this down a little bit so you can see. And um, I'm going to take these chicken wings. Now, the reason I like this recipe a lot is because, <laughs> that is a terrible angle. The reason I like this recipe a lot is because, yeah, there's a lot of steps to it, but the, the wings turn out really, really delicious. So I just opened up these frozen, oh man, look at that. Ooh, they're all frozen together. Anyway, what you do first is you take a cup of water and put it in the bottom there. Then you got that trivet on top. Then you take all these frozen wings, dump them in there. How easy is that? Throw that bag away. All right. I'm going to show you what this looks like. All right, all those frozen wings sitting on top of each other. So what else do you need for this? Well, you pick your favorite sauce. I like these G Hughes. Um, this is, happens to be sugar-free barbecue sauce. It's sweet and spicy. I only have about a half of this left, but I only have two and a half pounds of these um, frozen chicken wings, so I think we're gonna be fine. First thing we do, I'm gonna put this lid on. I don't know if anybody else has trouble putting their lid on. <laughs> Do you hear that noise it's making? Okay, here we go. Ah, okay. It's, did you hear that music? It makes noises. And it's not going to be nice until you get it on the right way. There's only one way to put it on. In the front, it says close and open. So you match up the um, arrows right here in the front. So what we're going to do is hit pressure. And we're going to set it for 12. I bet the last time I used this Instant Pot, I made um, chicken wings because it already has the 12-minute mark on there. Okay, so then it did its magic. Now it's 
uh, it's doing its pressure cooking stage. So all we got to do is uh, sit back, relax, and wait till the next step. Okay, so I got so excited talking and not paying attention to what I'm doing, which is common because I'm not used to having to explain what I do when I am um, putting recipes together. Anyway, you saw me just dump that bag of chicken wings in there. Well, I was reading in the recipe that I use, and I will link their uh, recipe in the description below, but they're not supposed to be all stuck together. You know, you saw me pull out and it had three wings stuck together, so I ran some water over them, and now I'm just sticking them in there. They need You need to be able to separate them. Oh, come on now. And they, they are brothers. They want to stay together when they're frozen, but that's not cool for this recipe. So, I'm going to take care of these two remaining legs. Get those back in there. Okay, so we're really starting over on the pressure cooking stuff because obviously I took the lid off. Got to wait, close that lid so the pressure cooker um, build up pressure to make those wings nice and tender. Okay, so this thing's been uh, working on building up pressure. One thing I forgot to tell you, it's really important. There's a valve in the back and make sure it's turned to sealing and not venting. Because I was like, why is steam coming up if it's trying to build up pressure? Well, that was my bad. I forgot to uh, turn it, this knob back to sealing. So now, you know, it's going to do its thing. I got out a few things since I saw you last. I got out a big bowl because after those are done cooking, I'm going to put them in here. Are to... do the shower video? Too? I'm recording. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> so I got this out. So after these are done, I'm going to put them in this bowl and then I can put the sauce around here. Oh, speaking of, I need to pull out my tongs to get them out of there. I also took the, the um, pan that I'm going to broil them on. I'm going to spray this with oil, get that ready and get it out of the way. Huh, you know, so I don't have to do that later. All right, so you're all caught up. Still waiting for this to build up pressure. I'll check back with you in just a minute. The Instant Pot just dinged and let me know that it's finished um, building up pressure. There is a, I want to show you this too, there is a silver dot in the back. Can you see that? Now when that silver thing pops up, that means your Instant Pot, it has the pressure, it dings, and it's going to count down, start count, counting down the timer that you set in there. So, you know, and all that, that probably took 15 minutes or so for the pressure to build up in there, and it's 12 minutes. So, don't get deceived when somebody tells you, oh, it just takes 12 minutes to cook wings. Um, no, because you got to factor in the time it takes for your instant pot to build up the pressure. So a little bit more about this device. We're going to let this count down to zero and I'll be back. Ah, okay, so it just beeped several times to let me know it's done and cooking for those 12 minutes. Now what's going to happen is that it, the it, it's going to start counting forward. So it's going to start naturally releasing the steam out of this and the instructions that I follow says let it do that for about five minutes before I open it up. So that's what I'm going to do. Okay, we've hit five minutes. Now let's see if we can open this up. No, we cannot. So I take my uh, tongs here and I'm going to vent the you see that? <laughs> yeah. It doesn't take long at all to uh, to unvent, to, to vent it, to get the pressure out of there. Now, please be careful doing this. And, um, because that steam, that will cause great damage to your arm 
or something. And it will not be pretty. I'm gonna take this. Still, still steaming. You hear that? <laughs> Wonder what note that was. Oh yeah, doing good. It's going slower, slower. Okay. All right. Look at that. Well, I guess you can't. So let me help you out with that. Come over here and look at these little chicken, chicken wings in there. Can you see that? Oh yeah. So I'm gonna take them out, put them in this bowl here. The thing about doing chicken wings this way is it makes the meat, the chicken meat, so tender. And this is, I mean, I just look for things that I like to make on the boat and then I make it. And if Sam likes it, I make it again. And th this is really his favorite way to have wings. And so, you know, when your honey likes what you make, it uh, it's a win-win. Okay, so I got all of those. I'm gonna go ahead and unplug this thing. Got all of those. Ooh. Tongs has a mind of its own. See that? And those are wings in there. Uh -huh. So now I'm gonna take this sauce. Now you can use any kind of sauce you want. Barbecue, favorite barbecue sauce or um, teriyaki. Oh, that would be good. I'm gonna save a little bit. And, and then when they're broiled, I'll drizzle them with a little bit more sauce. So I'm just going to take these, stir that up. See, I've got a giant bowl for this. See, stir those wings up. Get them all coated with that sauce. Now this sweet and spicy sauce, I don't know if you've ever had it before. It, I did get it at Walmart. And um, so it was easy to find, and I like the spicy. I like the sweet and spicy all together. So I'm going to take those wings now and put them on my foiled and oiled pan for the oven. Now I can already tell because I can get the four pound bag of. Um, not working out very well. Let me tilt you down a little bit. I get the four pound bag on this tray. And this, like I said earlier, is a two and a half pound um, bag of frozen wings. So that really cooked down a lot. Oh, the meat's falling off that one. That's how tender they get in the instant pot. Scoot you over here. Okay, so the next step, I am going to turn on the broiler and show you uh, that. So hang with me here. So as you know, on a boat, uh, I call this my easy bake oven because there's my wings. Um, and you can see when you have um, this top switch flipped up, makes the top burners work that are under here. To make the oven work, I just push that down. And you see over here those lights? Top burner's not on, so it's not lit, but the oven is on. So I turned this over to broil, right over here on this side. And now I'm gonna put those wings in, whoops, put those wings in, and I'm gonna stay right here because broiling's dangerous. I took the shelf, I only have two, I only have one shelf in there, so I took the rack and put it up on the top shelf closer to the broiling, so it'll move up the cooking time a little bit. Okay, put them in there. 
let it rest in there. So I'm going to check back in a few minutes to make sure they are nice and broiled, crisping up that skin. Wow, you! I wish you were here to smell my kitchen and these wings going on. I'm going to pull them out. The ones in the back, they're really getting crispy. So what I'm going to do is flip it around, move the ones that are in the front to the back, and, you know, make them more even. It smells so good. They're getting all crispy, just like I like them. Okay, y'all know I don't, uh, I'm not a cooking channel, so I'm just doing the best I can cooking in my little kitchen. It's easy bake oven, but it's time now to take these out. <gasps> you can see brown, crusty. I hope you can see that. They look so delicious. Now what you got to do is turn them all over because they crisp up on one side and then you got to turn them over so they can crisp up on the other side. Now when I'm turning them over I can see that it's you know look looks like I did when I put them on there. All white and uh, gushy and we want the nice and crispy on the outside. Let that skin do its job. So I'll get those all turned over. And then we're going to stick them right back under the broiler for a bit. Okay, this is the next step and the last step. All right, get on there. Okay, so we're going to do the same thing we did on the other side. I'm going to open it up and turn them around because it seems the back side of my broiler works a lot better than the front side. Come on, princess oven. Do your thing. Now, I get easily distracted. I don't know if you can tell I'm that kind of person. So what I do is I set a timer when I have the broiler on for this project for about three three and a half minutes so I can it'll go off and I'll go back and check it that's just how I keep myself in check and remind myself I am actually broiling something right now so I don't know what your tricks are but that's my trick okay folks we have come to the end of the tasty instant pot broil the top and bottom wings if you are a fan of chicken wings you are gonna love these and you know it's not a lot of effort what we like to do is take the uh, I've got to take the extra sauce here and drizzle it on the top brush it on and then you know it looks like it's about time for happy hour one quick tip is that what I'm gonna do now that this jar is empty I have a funnel that I use and I am going to stick this on here and then I'm going to pour the juice that's left over in the instant pot in this screw the lid on and then discard of this it, it you just can't cook on a boat like you can at home so that chickeny um, broth I guess you could keep it and make a soup or stew or broth or something like that but um, you can't just throw it down the sink and expect the garbage disposal to take care of it because I just don't have a garbage disposal and I can't throw any chunks of anything down the sink so that's my solution that's how I solve liquidy things that I need to dispose of and get off the boat that's just something I do. I'm sure you have your own way of doing things, but I thought I'd share with you how I get, get rid of the juicy stuff. Well, I hope you enjoyed this mandatory cooking video for AB and um, shout out to the seven-year-old who inspired this video. Well, I hope you're inspired to make some wings of your own. It's really, really very easy. You just have to set timers so you don't uh, get stuck watching Netflix and forget about your broiling wings. Till next time, see you later.